see this is the uh the fortunate part for quarterbacks who or not even just quarterbacks but any players who get released from their previous team before official free agency starts because they got a leg up on everybody else they got an advantage um against everybody else because there's a lot less competition since the market is a lot quieter uh because a lot of people's contracts haven't expired so Derek Carr um Derek Carr who was drafted by the Raiders I think I want to say nine years ago nine years ago for me I don't know it's weird it seemed like Derek Carr had only been playing in the league like five maybe six years it does it does not seem like you've been around for like nine years it's crazy time flew by but um Derek Carr Rejoining Dennis Allen again uh, with the Raiders, so he'll be with a familiar face. Um, I actually think uh, the Saints, the Saints were the first team, or one of the first teams that reached out to Derek Carr uh, when he was released from the Raiders. Uh, they reached out to him, I believe, the Jets. He had dinner with the Jets as well, um, and both meetings apparently went great. Um, but the Saints remained in contact, and I think even the Panthers tried to get involved too. Uh, but obviously nothing came to fruition with the other two teams, and now he's going to be a New Orleans Saint. Uh, he's going to be being signed to a four-year deal. We don't have the, the details of the deal yet. I'm sure that will come out later today. Um, but he's going to be being signed to a four-year deal. So there, that is a, uh, a significant commitment. Um, and the Saints, they, they get that guy. Um, ever since Drew Brees retired, uh, Saints have been trying some different things at the quarterback position, um, trying some different sort of band-aids and whatnot. Obviously, one of Drew Brees' last years, they had Teddy Bridgewater. Um, they tried a little Taysom Hill. They tried Jameis Winston. And, and with Jameis, it sucks because he he was looking good initially, but then he got hurt. Then he got hurt. Um, so it just, it never ended up working out. Uh, and then this past off season, I think they signed, uh, Andy Dalton. And of course, again, just a bandaid, just a lot of band-aids. And I know there are going to be some fans that look at Derek Carr, like he may be a band-aid too, cause he's definitely not the best of the best, but Derek Carr is certainly not the worst of the worst. Derek Carr is not a bad quarterback in my opinion. He's not. Um, but this move, it, it puts the Saints in a good position to know how they can move moving forward in free agency uh, in the draft and whatnot because when you have your quarterback situation settled that just makes life a lot easier for you uh, moving forward and now they got this settled uh, so we'll see how Derek Carr does uh, in New Orleans it's gonna be fun uh, watching him throw to Chris Olave on them deep ball yeah, actually on them short passes too Chris Olave could do it all uh, I don't think he'll be throwing to Michael Thomas because I don't envision him being with the Saints. But, hey, we'll, we'll see how things work out or don't work out. We'll, it, it's just a matter of time. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be fun, man. It is, it's it's, it's going to be fun. And one other thing, this is because you got the Bucks, you got the Pan Yeah, and the Falcons. This is the only uh, NFC South team right now that really has a quarterback. Like, they, they know their day one starter for sure at quarterback. Because the Falcons, cause they, they cut Marcus Mariota. And they can say, oh, yeah, it'll be Desmond Ritter. Mm, yeah, we'll see. The Panthers, who knows what they got. Matt Corral, they, uh, who knows what the, who their quarterback is going to be. Uh, and then the Bucks, no clue. I still think Geno Smith got a chance of going there. Uh, because his offensive coordinator last year, Dave Canales from the Seahawks, now he's the Bucks offensive coordinator. No, his QB coach, Dave Canales, is now the offensive coordinator for the Bucks. So I think Geno Smith could end up going to Tampa Bay, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but the Saints are the only team that know for sure, like, all right, week one, we got our guy. So now the rest of the NFC South, it puts a little bit of pressure on them. Not too much, but a little bit. So anyway, congrats to the Saints. Uh, we'll see how it works out, I guess. Derek Carr was like, man, New York uh, or New Orleans? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>